uh, Locke, uh, hmm? why, while I'm thinking about it and have a chance. All right. What's on your mind? Uh, well, the money that you lent me back in the last town to help mm -hmm. with that, uh, I just wanted to pay you back for that. You don't have to, but it's appreciated, I suppose. I, it, trust me, I actually insist. Uh, well, who could say no to an insisting? Sure. On a separate note, I might have a job for you. <laughs> it's like you, you like see his eyebrow, like the one that isn't like covered by the eye patch, like go up a little bit. Like, all right. Uh, perhaps we shouldn't talk about it inside of here. I know a place. <laughs> he uh, kind of escorts you to a a door you did not see before, kind of in the back of the inn. Oh, interesting. It kind of just goes down to a larder, and you two are alone there. He lights a oh, candle awesome. and sits down, and there is like a deck of cards and like two bottles of something. You don't know what. Probably oh. alcohol. Interesting. Okay, uh, so I, I'm just curious, uh, how much would it take to ask you to obtain something for me? Depends on the value of the item. What are we talking about? Well, there's a mysterious person upstairs selling a bunch of shards, hmm. <laughs> gems, some kind. So you're after there... pretty jewelry? That tracks, I suppose. Uh, yeah. In, in particular, it's it's the uh, the Pisces one. Hmm. Okay. Um. He kind of thinks about I, it for a little bit. Per personally, I'm out of practice on this, so like, I don't I don't think I really have the skills to just take something anymore. You know, I like the cut of your jib. Give me a barter roll. Okay. If you can beat locks, we'll see. Ooh, all right. Hey, hey. Well, I mean, technically, neither of you succeeded, but I'm going to take a look right. at your barter versus his. I just realized that Locke and you have the exact same total in barter, so you do still win this Wait. check here. <laughs> you see, Locke doesn't pay for things. That's not his forte. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's like, yeah, no, all right, tell you what. How about we do half the value of the item up front, and if I can get it for you, no refund. And if I can't, if I fail, then I'll give you your cash back. Okay. That, that okay. sounds like a deal. Okay. And he's going to do his best. Uh, thank you. Yeah, don't mention it. Literally. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make him a stealth check here, and we'll see what happens. <gasps> oh my god! Did he? Oh hey, my god! He oh no way! A natural one! <laughs> oh boy! I got him just looking in, raking in all of them. <laughs> no, no, oh he was asking to get one steal. specific one. <laughs> okay. He, he was asked to get one specific one. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Can't get greedy. So, really, depending on how well he was going to succeed was going to determine what happens. So, yeah, he's not going to get caught in doing this. <laughs> like, he, he found the exact moment when this person was just letting their guard down enough to, like, you know, sneak by when other people were, like, at their table and just, like casually lean over like talk about a different item grab it and leave about an hour passes you're still in the larder i assume uh yeah sure yeah okay so a lot comes downstairs he basically just hands you the item nods to you pleasure doing business with you ma'am and heads back upstairs my okay so nope as to not look suspicious, she will pocket it. And not equip it. Very smart. And not equip it. And leave the tavern. 
Locke, however, is going to make himself scarce from the inn for a bit. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Do you want to go anywhere with with uh, Phoenix? Uh, I'm going to head to the crowded streets in, like near near Nessa and Ringo, and just... keep my hand on the shard. 